Spend all my money on Terry Rice. Terry Rice, she's a fine young lady. Way, hey, and she scrapbooks too. Terry Rice, she's a fine young lady. Watch her cut and watch her glue. Terry Rice, she's a fine young lady. And now it's time for Terry Rice. Good morning, everyone. He goes back to work tomorrow, so I had to let make sure he got to introduce me before he <laughs> went off to work. <laughs> okay, so today um, I'm back scrapbooking again, and I've had this sitting on my shelf with some papers, and it's like I just never loved it. Well, I love the photo, and it's like I just kept, didn't like the papers I kept putting with it. So anyhow, I pulled out my Simple Vintage Indigo Garden and I had, well this piece is from that, this, these two pieces I had added to it because all the papers were like um, too busy or I wanted to keep them and not use the backs and so I thought um, I added things to them and I actually have a video um, where I added things but I did switch up the wood that I had in the collection and decided to use this one because it's a summer photo and this looks a little more summery than the one I had in the in the layout or in the kit that I made okay so and this is from um, it's from what is it craft consortium and this is an Echo Park fall paper and I'll put down the info below okay so I'm gonna start with this and I've taken off two and a half inches so I have an inch and a quarter on each side top and bottom and sides and that's I'm shooting for that inch and a half on the top and the bottom let's see if I can get there very close I need to get that ruler that is supposed to be be more it won't um, it lays flatter against the paper I need that ruler I need to put it on my need list okay I think that looks straight there okay now um, I have I wanted to use this butterfly but I could not use it fully because it's just too much so I thought, okay, this will be perfect to use it, just part of it, or a piece of it. And I think I have it, I have six and three quarters by nine. Okay, and I'm going to kind of put a little more towards one side than the other. And when I cut it, I'd actually kind of measured um, seven inches, but I wanted to make sure that I had the blue butterflies on both sides because that's, I liked it, the picture being up against the, with the blue ones on the side and probably because of her outfit. And then I just have a pink piece of paper and then I have this little piece of the gingham that was in the collection and I actually, when I was going through my scraps the other day, um, I had pulled this one out and I thought, oh, it's a piece of that gingham. And it was, I thought it was enough to mat a photo, but it was not. But, um, so I just cut off an inch because I decided I wanted to um, put it at the bottom of the picture.
So I am just, and it's matted, the picture is matted. And I'm kind of trying to leave a little bit of a mat around that pink gingham so that you kind of see the pink all the way around. Okay. And then I want this to one side. Oh, I do want to see the butterflies on both sides. So I'm going to bring her a little closer to the edge of those butterflies. And I need to make sure that I have enough room for this to be here. Um, this is from, I've got the floral die cuts and the regular die cuts. Um, what are they called? Like mats and, mats and frames or mats and tags. I forget what they're called. So I'm going to just put that there. And then I'm going to put lovely little moments over it. I liked this for the title. But it's like when I put it up against this, it just was boring. And so once I put it on this piece, I really liked how it looked. And then I have this little piece of, or like a little bit of leaves. And I'm just going to stick it kind of behind the little f framing part that I have here. And, huh, where's my other? I lost my butterfly. Hmm. I did lose my butterfly. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. So I have this yellow butterfly and then this dark, well it's, it's a purple. Well maybe it's indigo. I don't know. Pur indigo and purple are so much alike in my mind. Okay, so I'm going to put that one over the leaves and I'm going to put this over the leaves but I'm going to slightly tuck it underneath the yellow one. And I can see I got a little bit of tape there, so I'm rubbing that off. Okay, and then I'm putting this little pink heart just kind of right here on the wood and the gingham. Okay, and then right down here I'm going to put this um, piece of wood that says loved most Whoa. okay and I'm going to just kind of put it down in this corner and I'm actually going to cover up the loved most because I'm going to put this little chipboard piece that's actually from the, the brads and I didn't have the exact size so I went with um, I think it's one and a half inches that I cut from my creative memory circles or with my creative memory circles and this is my heart and then I'm just working my way around and I'm getting in like the dark color, dark blue, the yellow, and the pink. So over here I am going to put one of these tickets and I'm just going to kind of line it up 
with the side here, but not overlapping to the pink. And then I've got a flower that's pink. Or flowers, there's three of them here. I'm just gonna kinda tuck it there. And I'm not gonna push it down yet because I'm gonna add these leaves. So I'm just working on creating my visual triangle. And I'm going to kind of tilt it onto this um, kind of, uh, I guess this is more like the um, indigo plaid or maybe it's a gingham, but it's diagonal. Yeah, that's what I wanna say. Okay, and then I have this piece here that I was thinking about putting here, but then I have so many words here and I'm gonna have another one up here. So I think I am gonna tuck it in, maybe right there. Yeah, I think that will work. So I'm gonna tuck it in there between those two flowers. And I want to kind of see it between the flowers. Okay, I think that's good there. And then I think I'm just gonna lay these flat because I do have the foam pieces. I was gonna make them dimensional, but I think with the foam pieces, I really got a lot of dimension, but if I decide to, I'll just stick some foam underneath it. Okay. And then I have one of these little plaid indigos, and where am I putting that? Now that I've moved it that into that area, I think I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, and then um, I had actually made this previously and didn't use it. So, and it's from that book that, you know, the paper's so thin, it's really hard to put it on wax paper, but I did. So hopefully I can take it off without ruining it. Okay, and I'm gonna turn this around to make sure I do get it on here correctly. And I'm just putting it like a sixteenth of an inch lower than the top. Okay. And then I have this little piece that um, I'm not adding any greenery up here, but I do have this where it looks like it's got green watercolor on it. And I'm gonna overlap those little banners and pull it down just a little bit further down so it's like an eighth of an inch. And then again, I have a butterfly. Now oh, it's easy for me to use a butterfly anytime. So I'm just gonna tuck this here and then I have or it's not tucking, <laughs> it's overlapping. Okay, and then I have one of the indigo butterflies. And again, I got too much, okay. And I'm just putting that over here. So it's like I got one flying this way and one flying that way, same here. Okay, and then I have a yellow piece yellow heart, and I'm putting that there. And really, it's all done now except for, so I basically have two squares, so it's kind of like a 
a block on top of a block on top of a, a block but it's a rectangle and then two rectangles and then a little rectangle okay and I think which ones do I want to use here I think I'm going to use the darker pink ones or do I need the yellows I think the darker pink ones okay and I'm just going to Spread those around. You know, I like to use a large and then a medium and a small. I'm going to put over here a large. Just a little bit lower. Sometimes your fingers get in the way you don't even know where you put it. <laughs> okay and then over here I'm gonna do the same. I want the large one over here maybe. And a medium. And small. All right I'm so happy to have this done because I just thought this is such a cute picture of her. It's her and her mom were getting into the car and mom decided to take a picture of her so it's like I love it. So cute. Okay, so that's it and have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Close-ups at the end.